Ha ha, got you with the title clickbait. <laughs> I did that because that team video that I made um, got a lot of views. So this was actually a clickbait in the title. Hope you enjoyed. See ya. All right, so we got a team bringing back my trailer to show you some girl power. Oh my word. That's the first time that's happened. Uh, the neighbors. Anyway, so show you how a girl does it. Come on. So my team, they bringing me my uh, trailer back from New York. Well, Erie, Pennsylvania. I had a driver. His engine blew up. And uh, he was under a load. So they they're about 300 miles away, so I sent them down there to get it. And they went and got it. They ran it for a couple weeks to get it back to here in time for the Thanksgiving break. So uh, it worked out really good. So I think I always scare everybody about getting my grass. They always <laughs> put some pressure on them. I love putting pressure on them. See how they work under pressure. Man, she's doing a fantastic job. So here's girl power there. Come on. I forgot to tell her we actually own that driveway across the way there. So if she needs to do it when she took it so she's good that is our property so nobody can uh, can say anything that's a good looking outfit is it not go the truck and representing there come on fantastic job that's a fantastic beautiful looking setup I think I'm good to get in the yard now so we'll go get up in here and go guide her back to the other one. And she should be good. Okay, so we got the team in here. Got them dropped and uh, took them out to eat breakfast. So getting a little crowded in here now there, Roger. I got room for, I got room for one more, but uh, anyway, my driveway's a bit of a slope. And I had them back and all up against this one, which now I regret that because now I can't get the back door open to look inside of it. So I have no idea. Yeah, I might be able to get the back door open. But anyway, so I got two of these bad boys here in the driveway. But I got one guy coming first of the year, if not sooner. I think, I think we're going to try to put him back, put him off until the 1st of January. And he, the plan is he's gonna take that one back there. Uh, and you say, why? Because they're both identical. But the driver that was pulling this one, the guy was pulling this one, he's the one that blew, his motor blew up. And he started to work here in, uh, in uh, hold on a second. So he started here there's some geese flying overhead. He started uh, in December or January, first of January. He was one of the first ones to come in. And uh, I'm looking for those geese. There they are up there. You guys see those geese up there? They're flying south. This, if I had the camera the other way, I could have zoomed it in. Y'all could have really saw it. But anyway, let's go inside where it's quiet. He, uh, he started January. He's a good hand. His truck blew up, dropped the liner, and it just destroyed the engine. Didn't just drop the liner. When it dropped, it just took everything out. So nothing came through the block, but it dropped. Um, well, no, anyway, it dropped. It just destroyed. So you got to have a whole new engine. We want 45 grand. So I don't think, I mean, I wouldn't do it. If it was my Pete, that I had, I, I doubt that I would, uh, I'd have to think long and hard if I'd drop 45 grand. So it's a tough call, man. Um, but he's exploring his options, trying to find a junkyard motor and just in frame that uh, and see where we go. But I, I bet even that's gonna be 30 grand because you're looking at 18 for in frame plus the cost of the engine. I don't see it, so. I had that team recover that trailer, that load, and deliver the load, and and then just bring the trailer here because that was already in transit before 
We just got the verdict on his truck yesterday. So um, I'd rather have the trailer here and pay him to come and get it. If once he gets the truck fixed, then me have to pay someone to go get the trailer. And that way the trailer's here. So, and uh, if he doesn't recover, then I can I can put someone on to pull it. So uh, I do have a couple of guys coming. Uh, one has his own rig and uh, one wants to buy this trailer and um, got a couple more people interested. So anyway, there's those idiotic ramblings. Hope you guys enjoyed the idiotic ramblings, seeing how a girl did back then. She nailed it, did she not? So uh, that's good. That's a good outfit I got there. Uh, they're, they're good, man. Uh, and they've been here since uh, they started April 1st, April Fool's Day. So, yeah, they've been here a while, and uh, the guy lost his engine, he's been here a while. So, everybody thinks the turnover, oh my God, you got a lot of turnover. Well, we, we really don't, um, no more than anybody else, you know. Uh, it's, and and, and uh, anyway, that's a topic for another day. I like how some people claim it's me, but uh, uh, that's a topic. Because over here, you, you, you're your own boss. You, you do it all yourself. You find your own loads, and if you can't do it, um, no one's to blame but you. You know, we provide you the tools. And uh, anyway, that's a topic for another video. So you guys have a good day. Just thought I'd show you how a girl power backs into the driveway and gets it done. There, come in. Phenomenal job. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, I'm not rooster cruising. I'm making idiotic ramblings. I am kicking my nephew's butt in a game of pool. Come on. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen.